Good morning or good day. This is Pamela at African Ocean Homestead. I'm in Mwanza getting some agricultural education about different things that grow in Tanzania, different regions. So I'm in Mwanza and I'm at a nursery and I'm just scouting out some different plants. So I don't know all of them. So the ones that I do know and we'll look at some of the landscape here. So these are some form of cactus. And if you all know the name, please put it in the comment box. Okay, so I'm at a nursery and we're gonna try to figure out how to send some of these plants to Mama Sonia while I'm here. See if we can send some plants here. But look how they did these royal palms. Look at that. They decorated the royal palms. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I would have did Tanzanian colors, but that's okay. It's not my tree. <laughs> so here is a wild oregano. And I haven't seen this color, but it smells fantastic. So wild oregano, all you do is you find a little bud here. See those little buds all you just do a triangular little diagonal cut here put it in water let it root or i think you could you just stick it in the ground okay and this is a big oleander big oleander you see a lot of oleander in las vegas in the desert but look at that beautiful flower pink oleander hummingbirds love pink and reds I'm going to try to go slow here. So here, look at this beautiful gardenia. Look at that beautiful gardenia. And I love the smell of gardenia at night. I just can't have a lot of it because it overpowers me. Okay. And the beautiful rose of Sharon hibiscus. Isn't that beautiful? And there's a pinkish one. It's not in bloom there. Okay, but look at the roses. Look what I found. Roses. You don't find too many roses. Beautiful rose. They call this one a Jerusalem plant. To me, it looks like poinsettia. Looks like in the poinsettia family. See the leaves? It looks like poinsettia to me. Okay. There's another angle of that royal palm. And here's a huge Rosa Sharon hibiscus. That one. So here's the nursery. Some more plants here. Look at that gardenia. Isn't that pretty? And there's a pink one over here. So if anybody have any good ideas how to box and ship plants that will last at least two days in shipping, please put it in the comment. Because I've never I've never um, mailed plants, live plants before. And so since I'm in the same region, it's not like they're coming from another country. It's going to be within the same country. It's the best method. Look how pretty that rose bush is. And it has hips. It has a hip. Little small hips. I saw one that had a bigger hip. Here's one. One right here. Okay. So there's more. And they propagate everything from here. There's more roses. I'm trying to figure out how to get some of these roses to Mama Sonia. Nice rocks. Some nice ground covers. Look at these. What I love about this nursery is that it's so neat. It's so well kept. Some of the nurseries I've been to, they're a hot mess. They're unorganized and not well kept. And, um, you know, they're just, they're just not. And it, there's not examples of how beautiful some of the things can grow. Because some of the things are out here in the landscape. And you can see how they grow, the nature of their growth. Because I'm still learning the plants here in Tanzania. Okay. 
see, look at that. that. To me, that's a poinsettia. They call it Jerusalem, but to me, it looks like a poinsettia. But I'd like to get maybe four of those shipped to her. Because we don't have color. We need more color. And this one. Oh, I need... This is a ginger. I think, I think this is a ginger. Okay. This one here is up front. I don't know the name of it. So look at these beautiful... Look at the snake plant. So I'm trying to go slow. So you can see everything. And I'm going to go back and look at the plants and get their names and learn their growth patterns, how tall they get. Okay. Look at this one. Really nice and organized nursery. Look at this. Beautiful. The nursery at Fumba Town is well organized too, but Mm. Yeah, it's organized. Pretty plants here. Yeah. <laughs> and they got little, um, uh, what you call it, art here, statues. Oh, this one is white. This Jerusalem plant, that's pretty too. That one. And this is pomegranate. Look how nice and healthy. Those pomegranate bushes. Uh, this is a bogan, bougainvillea, I believe. Yeah. No, 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 no. Begonia, begonia. Look how pretty that is. Oh, beautiful. Begonia. They're easy to root. This plant here always reminds me of a frog. The colors always remind me of a frog. Those little penny frogs. Uh, this is a house plant in America. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Is it the Diefenbacher? I'm not sure. These are ferns. These are nice under shade ferns. They look nice in hanging pots. Ferns. There's a lot of ferns in Josani. I would love to get some of those ferns out of Josani. Okay. And I think my mom had this as a house plant in America. This spider plant. You could also use this for border hedges, like bordering um, your landscape. A lot of these we grow in the states. Coleus. Coleus. And they love the heat. Okay. And I love this idea, too, of lime in the trees. When you put the lime on, it keeps the insects down. Oh. Strawberry. Kaka. Kaka Emmanuel. I want to know if this is strawberry. This looks like a strawberry plant. If it is, I have definitely got to figure out how to send strawberries. Well, he's out working right now. I don't know where he went to. Let me see. I'll go this way. So they recycle. Make sure they use everything. Things don't go to waste. Every time I see this plant, it reminds me of like Jurassic. In Costa Rica, these plants are humongous. The leaves are huge. When you're taking that drive from San, San Jose, Costa Rica, to Puerto Vallejo through the through the rainforest, the, all these leaves, these these plants are like the size of humans. They're huge, humongous. If you ever get a chance to go to Costa Rica, and they may be here. I haven't been to a rainforest environment here at, in, in uh, on the continent. Beautiful plants, beautiful. 
I am definitely a tree hugger, a plant lover. I get excited every time I'm in nurseries. I just love it. Oh, I got plenty of room on my phone. Look at that plant. I mean, uh, plant. What am I talking about? Look at that elephant statue. That leaf. Here they're doing some more propagating, planting. Got a little system here. And they use rice hull. See this brown? See? That's rice. And I know where they um, mill the rice. I would love to get some of that to amend the soil. They have lots of healthy plants here, definitely. Okay, we're gonna go to a different section. So here they have vegetables growing, greens. And here they have some potted plants. And this is a, a for sale nursery. So here is in Swahili. And they have pots. This is pretty cool. I like this. Rosemary. Nice, healthy rosemary. Nice pots. Oh, I like this. This one. I like that one. Where they have it decorated. Even this one. Don't know the name of this plant, but look at that flower. Okay, let's see what else we got over here. Wow, look how healthy these young oleanders look. And that pine. I think I'd like to get some pots made, but I think I want to decorate them myself. Ooh, the tan one is pretty. Look at this tan and black one. I like that one. This one's a little much. Okay. Some cacti. All right, so let's go see some succulents. Let's go over here. I wanted to show you guys where some people live up in the rocks in the mountains, but I'm gonna, when there's a, cause it's cloudy out today, so you can't see, but there are people who live up in the rocks, right adjacent to the rocks. The house, some of their houses are built in between boulders. So here's the house plants. I know these are familiar to a lot of people. These, these, I forgot the name of them. Look like little stones, but they're so easy to propagate. You just take that little leaf and stick it in the ground. Even these, you take this little leaf and just stick it in the ground. Don't overwater it. That one. And I love snake plants because they don't mind being crowded. They're easy to grow. You can't overwater them. And this is a pineapple. He said that's a pineapple. I've ha I have not planted this color one. Pineapple. There you go. This is a great idea too. We find some nice rocks. Look how pretty those rocks are. And they just whitewashed them. Light whitewashing. They make a nice um, decorative landscaping item. And some hanging plants. Easy to propagate. All you do is take a little leaf. Take one of these little leaves and that's it. Stick it in the ground. I don't know how much these cost. But the plants here are inexpensive. 
they range from 3,000 T shillings to 20 to 30,000, depending on the size and I guess the, the difficulty of their propagation. Okay. Let's see, let's walk up here. I want to show you guys the size of these mangoes up here and the pomegranate. They got sugar cane over there. Let me see if I can get a picture. Look at all of these papayas going to waste. I love green papaya salad. Let me see. Look at this. Cherimoya. Can you see that cherimoya? Sour sap. And there's another one. Let me show you. Take a little walk. Mwanza is also called Rock City. It's very hilly. So my calves are getting exercise here. <laughs> While I'm living here. Let's see. Pomegranate. Look at the size of those mangoes. I hope you guys can see them. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. If you can see the size of those mangoes. Make my mouth water. Look at the size of those mangoes on that tree. Pomegranates here, the seeds are pale. And there's another type of fruit. I don't know the name of it. It looks like sour sap, but I'm not sure if it's the same. See if I can get a picture of it. Oh, I can't get a good picture. Hold it steady. Ah, no, it's a cloudy day. I can't get a good picture. But anyway, let me walk back down. Oops. Let me walk back down. Oh, yum, yum. I want one of those mangoes. I got to find out whose mango tree that is. <laughs> so, anywho. Hope you all have a good day. I'll be bringing more footage when I have time here in Mwanza. Okay. I'm really focused in on studying my Swahili while I'm here. You know. <clears throat> And still looking into the different agricultural things here and plants and meeting new people, really nice people, um, getting some fabrics. They have a different variety of fabrics here. I'm getting some clothes made. I got a beautiful dress made here. Um, here we are. Okay. Thank you. For viewing my video please comment positive comments any questions if you want me to ask the the nursery people here any questions about any plants um, just let me know and here they do mix their own compost um, and they do sell it but it's got to be pretty much locally um, if you have any questions like share comment peace